Have you ever received an inner message that said, take your umbrella, it might rain? And then you ignore it and you go out and sure enough, it begins to pour with rain. Have you ever had a prompt to call a friend and you dismiss that prompt? And then later you find out that your friend hasn't been doing so well or he or she has been trying to get hold of you. So these two very simple examples happen to all of us all the time. And it's part and parcel of connecting in and heeding or ignoring our own intuitive wisdom, which arises from our true nature. It's an expression of the Supreme Self. So the reason I'm bringing this up today is that I'm often asked, how do I develop my intuition? And the very simple answer is to practice paying attention to these very small little hints and messages that tell you to take an umbrella or to call a friend or to pick up a bit more food at the food store or whatever the message might be because the more you listen to those very simple messages the more you develop a trust in your own intuitive wisdom which is a natural expression of the supreme self but you know what often happens is these intuitive prompts rise up and then there's a tendency for the mind to shut them down or to analyze, you know, or question um, and then do nothing about and um, not respond to, to what is being, is being offered. So my tip to anybody who wants to develop their intuition is to just pay attention to the small things and from those small things and small messages, bigger more profound prompts will be given and those bigger profound prompts may be leading you to take a leap of faith or to find a new creative project or to start listening to and trusting what you're feeling about um, a major life decision that you're being called to, to make. So that's my little hop on today. And as always, I hope you're well. I hope you are happy and smiling and um, listening to your inner guidance. So take it easy. That's all for me for now. Bye.